Every year during National Police Week, we hold a local ceremony to remember and to honor our seven fallen heroes. With the current stay-at-home orders, we won't be coming together this year, but it's important to keep our tradition alive. It's important to support our surviving family members. We know that the burdens they carry will never go away. Our hearts were again broken on January 29th with the passing of Officer Nathan Martin. Although it was not a line of duty death, we miss him just the same, and our grief is just as strong. Nate was a family man, a man of faith, humbly serving his community. He represented the best in what it means to be a police officer. I saw grace and resiliency within the Martin family, similar to the strength in the families of Jim Jensen, Jim O'Brien, John Adair, and the many other surviving families. We will never forget our fallen police officers. Deputy Constable Andrew M. McNaughton, end of watch, March 23rd, 1906. Constable William E. Kelly, end of watch, August 20th, 1921. Officer Albert Gasparetti, end of watch, April 15th, 1956. Officer Frederick J. Clark, end of watch, October 12th, 1971. Senior Officer John Adair, end of watch, October 7th, 1980. Officer James E. O'Brien, end of watch, December 2nd, 1993. Officer James R. Jensen, Jr., end of watch, March 13th, 1996.